Hi, I'm Mark with At My Home, and welcome to our studio. OWC sent us the Mini Stack STX. And this thing here, when we got it, I'm like, well, what am I going to use it for? And then all of a sudden I realized this is cool because the STX actually has four Thunderbolt 4 ports in it. Now, one port is used to talk to the Flex 8, which then talks to the Mac. And we used another port to connect up to this monitor over here. So that allows us to drive the monitor. Now, there's two more ports, and get this, I've got attached to one of them, I have a Samsung T7 SSD, and this sucker is really fast for a portable SSD. So he's hooked up there in case I happen to have data on there, or let's say I want to put the data on there and bring it somewhere else, it's very easy to slip in your pocket and away you go. So that's the STX as far as ports are concerned, but inside the STX is what's really interesting. One thing you can do is you can put a single M2 style SSD in there. And so they also, inside of this, when they did it, they sent us an Aura Pro 4 from OWC. So this one here is two terabytes in size. Well, the really cool thing is, is that I want to be able to back up the Mac. Now we use CrashPlan to back up the Mac remotely, but you can also use CrashPlan locally to have it to your own disk drive. So if you do have to restore, it's faster than waiting to come over the internet. We also have Apple's Time Machine. So what we did was we put a 16 terabyte drive into the, into the SDX and we partitioned it at two volumes. One volume is used for crash plan, so eight terabytes for that. And the other volume is for time machine. So now in matter of fact, you, if you watch, you can see the light going on right now. The Mac is doing its backups, either crash plan and or time machine. And he just in the background goes and keeps us backed up. So I know that that four terabyte drive in here is being backed up at all times, which is really kind of handy. So the other thing about the STX that's I think kind of cool is, in here I have the backups, and I also have that fast SSD in this thing, right? So I have a lot of disk space here, and if I wanted to go on the road, I only need to bring the power brick, and I can connect it then to our MacBook Air. I ran the Blackmagic speed test. Backup drive, again, is one of those X18 Seagate Enterprise class drives. And as you can see here, when I run the speed test of that drive, I'm getting around 250 on the writes and about 254 on the reads. Coming down here to the M2, right, or the OWC STX M2 uh, SSD. Remember, it's two terabytes, but it's not in a RAID configuration. It's just a standard drive. Then I'm getting around 680 on the writes, and I'm getting about 780 or so on the reads. So it's very fast. Keep in mind, this is our configuration. Your speeds are going to vary, obviously. Thank you for watching.